Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here and today I want to talk to you about Allogene because they have some positive developments in their pipeline. And I know that all of us are now desperate for some positive news after being battered consistently by bearish price action in our genomic stocks in the watch list. So with that said, let's get started. Welcome back friends. First, let us take a quick look at the Allogen pipeline on their website and then continue with our discussion. Here we are in the Allogen pipeline and you can see that their uh, Allo 501 uh, and Allo 715 are both in an advanced state where they have completed uh, accrual and uh, they are in the follow-up only stage. Uh, and uh, uh, accrual basically means that patient consent has been uh, received uh, informed consent has been received and the recruitment is complete and the therapy has been administered, the follow-up actions are in play. These are most likely candidates to reach the FDA approval soon. Uh, today we have news about Allo 501A and also about Allo 657, 647, sorry, which is a uh, lymphodepletion agent. Uh, now, uh, in their press release on 6th of October, Allogen disclosed progress with uh, these two therapies. Let's first take the case of Allo 501A. Allo 501A targets CD19 in relapsed refractory non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Allogen has indicated uh, that it has initiated phase 2 clinical study with 510A and is simultaneously initiating another study called the EXPAND study where they will use Allo 647 as the lymphodepletion agent. Typically, lymphodepletion involves the patient receiving a short course of chemotherapy to kill their T cells as part of their immune system before they receive the ACT immunotherapy, where uh, here uh, Allogen is testing the Allo 647 as a lymphodepletion agent. If the outcome turns out favorable and FDA discussions and, uh, are conducive, an approval can be imminent. We need to remember that Allogen has already conducted an extensive phase one program designed to evaluate and optimize all aspects of uh, allo, car allo car T, including uh, doses and schedules of uh, allo 501A and allo 647. And in addition, the company recently conducted a review of the phase one program which determined a manufacturing process associated with robust clinical performance. Allogen selected manufacturing process is going to be called Alloy uh, and will be deployed in the alpha 2 and expand trials. But it's not going to happen immediately. There is a slight wrinkle as Allogen received chemistry manufacturing and controls, that is CMC clearance, to use newly manufactured product of uh, Allo 647, which did not utilize the alloy process from its manufacturing facility Cellforge 1. The company is now in the process of implementing alloy in the Cellforge 1 facility. As such, the phase 2 trial will begin with previously manufactured material with the intent of transitioning the to product from uh, CF1 uh, during the course of the alpha 2 and expand trials. I don't expect this to cause any big problems, but uh, phase 2 trials I think are and expand trials are, are standing on a very firm footing because they have always been, they have already been tested in phase 1. The alpha 2 trial will enroll approximately 100 patients who will have received at least two prior lines of therapy and have not received prior anti-CD19 therapy. The primary endpoint objective is the uh, response rate, objective response rate. And uh, the EXPAND trial is a separate uh, potentially registrational trial for Allo 647. Allogen is uh, developing Allo 647, its anti-CD52 monoclonal antibody with the goal of potentially expanding, uh, or potentially enabling expansion persistence and improved clinical outcomes of Allo CAR-T product candidates, including Allo 501A. So if approved, uh, Allo 647 will be used with all other CAR T therapies that uh, uh, Allogen has in its pipeline. So it's going to improve the outcomes by handling the immune suppression in a much uh, more refined and better manner. The randomized ex expand trial is expected to enroll ap approximately 70 patients and is uh, intended to uh, demonstrate the safety of Allo 647 and its contribution to the overall effectiveness of the lymphodepletion uh, regime. Allogen expects to provide an update on its CD19 program towards the end of 2022. This will include longer term follow up uh, from the alpha and alpha 2 phase 1 trials, uh, including patients treated with the alloy manufacturing technology process uh, in the expand, uh, um, expand trials. I'll be keeping track of this uh, on our behalf and uh, we are almost at the end of 2022. So 
we should expect some news before the year end which is not too far. Uh, nothing much has changed for allergen share prices which have fallen from a high of 55.17 on 22nd of May 20 uh, to the current uh, market price of close to $1.11. Uh, this is the story of many genomic companies that are working hard and making great progress but not getting recognized in the stock market due to the overall bearish environment and global financial weakness coupled with geopolitical tensions. Hope that we see better times post midterms. Uh, that's all from me uh, for now, my friends. I hope you like this video. Please press the like button and let me know. And if you have subscribed, uh, I thank you a lot. And in case you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and help, uh, help me grow this channel. And also that will be a way for you to endorse my work. Bye for now.